Oh, no thanks. We're not interested. Oh. I forgot we were doing this today. My deepest, sincerest apologies. Welcome inside. Welcome inside my home. We're gonna do this like uh, MTV crib style because you know, that's the best way. Remember that 2005, you know, that era? That was a vibe. That was a vibe. Welcome to my home. I just wanna let you know in advance, I have no furniture but a bed. But um, many of you know my story, right? I was a dog walker, ended up transitioning into tech sales. And uh, just in a matter of like the last five months, my life has completely changed. I took a bootcamp by the name of Course Careers. If you're interested in the tech sales bootcamp, the link is down below. My code, if you wanna use my code, it's REN, R-E-N, and the number 50. You get a little bit of money off. Yeah, ever since I, you know, kind of came into this entire experience, my life has changed drastically. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys my apartment, not take myself too seriously, uh, not talk about tech sales all day and work related stuff. So this is more of a casual kind of vibe. And uh, this will kind of be like a before video. You know, I'm giving you a tour right now, uh, but I'll also give you a tour once I get some furniture in here and kind of show you you know, how everything is, you know, come together. So uh, let's do it. Without further ado, this right here is nothing. So we're not gonna focus on that. <laughs> we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go into the bathroom. So once you come into the space, you enter into the bathroom. Um, the bathroom has, this is probably like my favorite thing right here, is this shower. It's love, it's, it's love. So the shower is my favorite. Um, and then, you know, I got my sink where I do all of my, you know, brushing my teeth in the morning and, you know, all of that good stuff. Gotta have the Palmers because, I mean, who wants to be ashy? I don't. Um, I got a candle here that I got from uh, TJ Maxx and this actually smells like heaven. This, I actually, I have not lit this yet, but it smells really, really good. But this is my bathroom. It's a small space, but it definitely gets the job done. You know, you guys know, like I said, you know my story. I was living at my mom's house uh, for a little while. Um, and so, you know, I definitely wanted to find my way back to having my own space. So I just moved to Richmond, Virginia. Shout out to you if you live in Richmond. Uh, that's where I live right now. And uh, yeah, let's show you some more of the space. So, like I said, I don't have no furniture, but I do have a bed because, you know, we can't be sleeping on the floor. So, I got this bed, um, I ordered it on just a bed frame. Like, fun fact, I do not like uh, headboards. I just, I don't know, I just, they stress me out. Um, so yeah, I just got this cool bed, uh, put together the bed frame. Please do not mind this wrinkly, wrinkly comforter. Uh, I'm taking it to the cleaners so that way they can get all the wrinkles out and you know, it'll look the way that it's supposed to look. Over here, I am reading this book. Shout out to one of my best friends, Matt. My best friend Matt got me this book. It's called Ikigai. It's about purpose. Basically, long story short, it's about purpose. It's about living in your purpose. And it talks about the five blue zones um, in the world and you know, how people feel like they are living longer because of course, you know, diet and movement, exercise, but also because they have such a strong sense of purpose. So I'm about four chapters into this right now. It's a really fantastic book. If you haven't read it, definitely pick it up. Um, and this, it is called Willow and it's from uh, Tarje. Fancy. It's from Target and it's just a really good scent just to be able to spray your apartment with or your house. It's just a, such a, I like soft scents and this is such a soft scent, so it does it for me. This here, like this is nothing major, but I'm gonna show you this, this little guy, I get cold really, really easily. So I am always plugging this in. Um, it's a, it operates as a fan and as a heater but nine times out of 10, I always have it on the heater mode because I'm always cold. All right, so come with me over here. So as you can see, this is just one big wide open space. So the plan is to put a love seat here. 
Um, I just ordered a love seat, and then I've got my uh, TV stand that's gonna be coming right here. Uh, my TV stand should be delivered within the next couple of days. Super excited about that, that's gonna be awesome. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Um, and then, you know, the view. I love the view. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this entire space. I can literally just like look at it all day. Let's come over to the spot. I haven't even used this space yet. Everything's just been so busy in life that I have not had a chance to really just sit down and like cook myself a meal. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So I got my Nutribullet because I typically make a smoothie every morning. Um, I always make a smoothie with some fruit and some spinach around like 10 a.m. And then these last few days or really even in general, like I typically make a smoothie around 10 and then I eat like an actual meal around like two or three. And that's kind of like my last meal of the day. So, um, so yeah, I just have a smoothie and one nice sized meal. This is my kitchen guys, like this is it. Um, this is all I got, nothing, nothing major, nothing super fancy, um, but it definitely gets the job done. And then, a little what's in my fridge. So many of you know, I like to eat very healthy. Um, I have a lot of fruit in my fridge, like, I said I haven't cooked in this space yet, so haven't really had time to make anything. Um, but grapes are my go-to. Apple pears, if you haven't tried an apple pear, what are you waiting for? Like, are you even living life? Spinach for my smoothies, uh, a pineapple, strawberries, and some aloe vera, um, and some leftover fruit that my uh, college niece who's visiting on spring break has just been sitting in there for the last, I don't even know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, freezer is really just frozen fruit. Um, that's all I've got in there. So um, I've got two closet spaces, one right here. I'm not even gonna show you because I'm still moving in and things are a little bit of a disaster right now. Um, and then I have another college, or I'm sorry, I have another closet space uh, right over there. So, but basically the main reason why I got this space was and is because of the views. Like, I don't even know if you guys can see this because, you know, like, let me see. I can turn this up. There we go. So yeah, that's the main reason I got this space. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little glimpse of what my apartment looks like now before I got all the furniture in here. Um, I should have some furniture in here within the next week or two, and then I'll be able to do an updated video for you guys. Um, but like I said, like course careers, coming into tech sales, like all of this just happened and you know, God is merciful and so here I am. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys now just some of the best parts of this space. So come on and follow me, let's get it. are a part of my apartment complex. So come on through. This is what we call the club room area and it's just a big open space for everybody to come through. Um, you know, a lot of people come down here to, you know, do office work or to just work on projects together, whatever, like whatever they got going on, that's what they do down here. And it's just a really cool space, honestly. They got a couple games that I don't know how to play. No, well, this is this is the lie. I do know how to play this. You gotta, you gotta know how to play like Connect Four ish, right? So, and then of course the pool table. I have yet to play the pool on um, pool table, but I definitely will be making that happen very soon. So yeah, so this is just the clubhouse right here, and this is pretty sensational. I like it. So a lot of times people will have like some really soft music on or something like that while they're studying in here. So it's a really cool vibe. And so far, the majority of my neighbors and all of my neighbors that I've met are really cool. All right, and so right here, we've just got office spaces. So like I told you guys, like right now, I don't have like any uh, furniture in my place. So they've got like six or seven different office spaces 
where people can come downstairs and work inside of them. Bring your laptop, it's got, you know, Wi-Fi capabilities down here. Um, and they've got a conference room over there, so it makes it so much easier now that I don't have a desk right now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. This is one of my favorites, like one of my favorites. I'm in here every single day, the gym. All right. So guys, this is the gym. I'm in here every single morning, anytime between like 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. 8 a.m. typically on the weekends, 6 a.m. to 6.30ish on the weekdays. So this gym is fully equipped. It's got everything that I need because I love to work out. Anybody that knows me knows that I love to work out. So typically, I'm in the gym about two to three times a day. Well, I'm in the gym at least two times a day and then I box. So, you know, between those things, it makes for about three times a day that I'm like super duper active. So come over here, I'll show you some of the equipment. I typically always bring my jump rope. My jump rope gets me through my first half of my workout. And then I hop on the Stairmaster for a little bit or the treadmill. Um, so I'll do jump rope for about 15 minutes and then I'll do the Stairmaster or the uh, treadmill for another 15 minutes. And that gives me a good 30 minutes of working out um, or of cardio. It gives me a good 30 minute cardio session in the morning. So yeah, this is the gym. It's got like the free weights over here. That's one of my favorite sections. And then we've got a, um, we've got a bench right here. So, you know, bench press, uh, you know, overhead press, all of those kinds of things. So I love to work out, it's my favorite thing. And last but not least, I'm gonna take you guys all the way up to the tippy top and let's go see that real quick. All right guys, so this is the last part of the tour. I'm going to take you all the way, all the way to the tippy top of the building, to the rooftop. And uh, I hope you guys like it as much as me. That's the whole reason that even made me get this place. So I love the rooftop. I thought it was pretty dope. So here we go. Time to All right, so we are going outside to see the last and final part of the space. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I have. Uh, come on outside. It's a little windy and it's a little rainy, but this is the rooftop. And uh, yeah, it's pretty shit. It's a little cloudy and windy, but this is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this space as much as I've loved living here. And uh, yeah, this is the view that I get to go to sleep to in my apartment every night. And I also get to come upstairs and sit on the rooftop and check it out. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. I'm gonna get out of this rain, because I look too flat. <laughs>